Uh, but again, uh, if you want this uh, available, I usually have this on at all time because I do I don't do much high poly work, so I I usually keep a strong eye on poly count. And to get that <coughs> to get that up there, all you do is go to display UI elements, and it is right in. Actually, it is in heads up display and poly count. There it is. So you can turn it off. And you can turn it on. Sorry. Um, and uh, Again, that's pretty simple. You have the shelf here with all the commands. You can, if you just want to extrude something, I don't usually use these commands, but I believe extrude is this one. So then you get these the manipulator here, which uh, well, I'll show you the manipulator. Actually, it's the manipulator are these. This is the toolbox of the uh, Maya interface. Here we have the select tool, which is always active. You can always select, always select things. Uh, and that just allows you to select phases or if you right click and you can choose uh, if you hold down right click and um, it'll let you choose what you want to select here uh, so you can go into edge mode which edges are just the uh, two vertices connected by an edge and you can, you can drag those around with the move tool which is this one here uh, I, I do these by the command uh, not command, keyboard shortcuts uh, these are controlled by the QWERTY Shortcuts so W is move, um, E is rotate, uh, even though it doesn't make much sense, it should be R, but still R is actually scale, T is the uh, manipulator, you know, all that stuff. So, uh, and then if you you can also go into vertice mode <coughs> or as I say, vertex, so these are the uh, individual points of the model, uh, these little tiny dots here. Which you can drag around and modify to your own likings. Uh, you can also go to vertex phase. I won't. I won't go th too much into this at the moment uh, because I honestly don't feel like it. I'll do it later on. Uh, but as you can see, you kind of get the idea. Um, <coughs> and then phase mode again, which we were in before. Here you can just select the um, four edges connected together by a phase. Basically, this is a phase for vertices, four edges. Uh, and um, you can drag these around, you can scale them up, scale them down, and again, you can choose the manipulators just by clicking this here. Um, I suggest just learning the keyboard shortcuts again because it, it speeds things up so extremely much, basically. Um, you also have lasso select here, which it's you drag out this and it says everything inside of it. So if we uh, drag around here, maybe it selects only with those faces. Um, and <coughs> pin select, which just pin select this, this, you can set this down if you want to. Um, and you also have the uh, scale, the manipulator, which you take this on. The manipulator. I, I won't show you this at the moment, but you know, uh, soft select, which, well, not really soft, I call it soft select. Uh, it's basically soft, soft modification tool, which, um, if I had more than one selected, it would be easier. Like so, maybe no. Okay, never mind. But uh, and uh, this is the yeah. You know, I can show you this later. Uh, and this is the most recent tool we just used. So we just used the uh, split polygon tool to when we made the triangles to show you what triangles are. And uh, here you can uh, repeat the uh, last uh, tool that you used. So if you click this, you have the split polygon tool again, and you can uh, select an object and drag and create things like that. Uh, and you can also to get the last tool selected without actually clicking here, which is very tiring after a while. You can just uh, uh, tap the or click the button on your keyboard and name the G, the G key. Uh, just click that key and bam. Uh, yeah, okay, we actually used extrude last time. Um, this is not updated for some reason, but whatever. Um, so this uh, re does the last command, basically. <coughs> so let's undo that. And in here, you have the uh, different view panels you can use, but what view uh, views you can actually use. Uh, I'll get to that after I have done the interface. Uh, done. So, <coughs> okay, so. At, and as you can see on the bottom here, uh, we actually have a timeline which controls your animation. Uh, so I'll, I'll go into animation later on, but 
if I would just uh, keyframe this by s moving it and just hitting S will keyframe instead of keyframe. Move it up, maybe move it to frame 17 first and move it up here and hit a non keyframe. You can see I have now created a very small animation which you can replay by pressing the old play button here and you can see it replays and replays and replays which is completely unnecessary because it's just a cube. But then again, who cares? So let's just move that keyframe right there by uh, selecting the frame was on and hitting right click and hitting copy cut. There is other ways of doing that. I just use it because it's fast. Uh, let's move that back by going into the channel uh, box here, which is this little thing on the side here. Uh, this is very useful actually. This has the uh, when you select an object, this comes up. With, this is the. These are the attributes of the object. So you have the translate x attribute, translate y, translate z, uh, rotate x, rotate y, rotate z, scale and visibility. So translate, if you didn't know, is basically this is basically move. So if you select one, uh, this the x axis, as you can see, 